Hey guys, this is a review of two different types, two different styles of outer uh, ballistic type materials for the externals, and it would be it is weatherproof. And you have a nice pocket here for documents and the like. Notice too that Encase does a very good job with logos, and I find them very tastefully done. Now this pocket at the top, I really really like. It's a bit deep and it's kind of a negative, and I'll show you that in a minute. But it's very useful for the items that you commonly use: smartphone, headphones, stuff like that. Now again. Logos that they have, there's a number of places, but it's always tastefully done. And what's very surprising is the amount of stuff you can put into this bag. What's a little bit disappointing is the different pockets that you have here, although there are plenty, they feel like the cheap interior that you'd get from a child's backpack. You know, the real cheap ones you used to pick up uh, back for kids that were in grade school. They just didn't seem to be or feel like they'd be very durable, although I saw no issues over the two weeks that I used this pack. And here is that pack at the very top. You can see that once it gets loaded with stuff, it can get in your way if you're trying to load or unload uh, items out of this bag. And this bag does not stand up on its own, so that could really be a negative. So one thing that I wanted to do was show you exactly what I pack into this. Again, this is used as kind of a, a go-between between my messenger bag when I'm going to work. So I use a 15.4-inch Dell Latitude. It fits in there fine. I bring along my iPad as well. And there's a lot of pockets, a lot of different ways you can configure this. So this is just one way uh, that I did it. So just to give you kind of an idea. Have my air card that I put into some of the uh, internal pockets along with my arc mouse and then a key fob. So I put all those in some of the pockets. And again, there's lots of pockets. And of course I have a power charger, uh, my charge, which I'll go into later with another review. And then my Blackberry playbook. And there's enough room to put in some notebooks and other things. But this is just to give you an idea. Now, once I you know, secure that bag, of course on the top, I usually typically put my phones so they're easy access. And I really, really love that pocket. Uh, understanding the negatives, how it can deep dig down when you actually try to take the stuff in and out. The shoulder strap is very well padded, so that really helps offset weight along with the back. So that gives you a nice cushion between your back and this bag. So those are all the cool things. It's a very heavy duty strap and it's adjustable. And again, this is a sling pack. But this is just to give you an idea. I was hoping that putting it across the shoulder without actually touching the loop would work fine, but it doesn't. It's extremely awkward and it kind of swings around to the, to the side of your body. So it makes it very difficult to use in that manner, at least for me. Now, once you strap it on, this gives you kind of an idea of what it looks like. Here I've used a jacket to give you another example of how it looks and what it'll look like while it's on. And yes, you can adjust it. Know that. I've tried that a couple times. But this is just for um, you know illustrative purposes so you can kind of see. Relatively slim profile. But again, this is the NK Sling Pack. So I was a little disappointed with that. So I decided to try the Book Boa Squeeze. And some caught books, some caught books. So please forgive me if it's wrong. What's intriguing about this is this is a backpack, but it is a very slim backpack. And the material outside is a heavy-duty ballistic weatherproof as well. And what I really like about it is there's roughly 27 pockets in this thing, and it keeps a very slim profile. Now, you have two sides. And as you can see, I have my headphones and a pen, but you can put, you've got two specific spots. You can put your pens or pencils or whatever. And there's about there's three pockets on this side and another pocket on this side. Again, you want to keep this relatively thin. I haven't really maxed it out, kept a few items in there. And keep in mind that the two bags that I'm reviewing really are for me just to use as a go-between bag, so I'm not really pushing the limits of it. You have a key fob here to handle any kind of keys, and then again, a number of pockets to put notebooks, pens, papers, uh, slim mice, uh, headphone ja headphones, you know, a number uh, of items. And again, it keeps it all nice and neat. And you have an external pocket as well. Now, on each of the straps for the backpack, there are these this kind of a neoprene feel to it so you can slip maybe a jump drive, memory card, something really thin and then you have another pocket on the outside on this side. The two sides of the backpack are very similar. Now the only negative about it is that as you can see here I struggle just a bit. The zippers are a little rigid to get around the corners. Maybe just the design of the bag. There are pockets galore. I mentioned around 27 and it, I mean there really are but these are pockets that you want to constructively put stuff in so you want to think it through and there's a number of ways you can configure it. There's another, another uh, open pockets. There's two there. There's a zipper pocket. I put my graphic image jotter down at the bottom. And then again, the base is very thin. It also has a neoprene pocket to put some uh, easy access items. There's also two pockets, one slim, one a little bit more wide, that both have Velcro 
um, attachments so that you can keep them more secure. But again, this is not stand up. Uh, you would need to lay this down on the floor or on your desk. Now again, using the same items, just to give you an idea on how I configure this bag, how what I put in this bag, and to give you an idea of the profile, I'm using the same number of items. Again, you can you know configure it any way that's best for you. But this is just to give you an idea because this particular uh, backpack doesn't have a lot of reviews on YouTube and it's specifically the way it looks when you wear it. So again I have a 15.4 inch notebook easily goes in no problems whatsoever so if you had a thicker notebook than that I don't imagine there's too many of those out there uh, it would work fine. Now what I use this very front pocket for is something like an extra battery pack and this charger which I'm going to review on it works out very very well compact easy and I think the selling point here is it looks very professional and it looks um, it, it is very slimline as you can tell here there's not a lot of bulk to this bag and again you can adjust it any way you want to but this is just to give you kind of an idea of how it looks and again from the profile you can see there is very little bulk to this bag at all again you would not be loading it up with a lot of items but I hope this helps and thanks for watching